In this video, we'll give an example of Benford's Law. The idea is that the leading digit of a set of real numbers is not uniform. So the Wikipedia article is pretty good on this. Basically it says that the number 1 as a leading digit will show up more often than the leading digit of 2, and so on until you reach the least uh, frequent number as a leading digit being 9. So let's see if we can see that in some real data. I'm going to use the pandas library and matplotlib for visualizations. And uh, I'm going to load in some data from a site called lendingclub.com. So I'm going to load in that data, and I happen to know that I need to skip the first row and ignore any pandas warnings about low memory. So once I've loaded that in, I have 42,538 rows and 145 columns. And I happen to know that the loan amount column is the, the one that I'm interested in. So if I look at the head of that column, I see that there are entries like 5,000, 2,500, 2,400, 10,000, 3,000. Those seem like reasonable numbers for a loan amount. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the leading digit. In this case, a 5, a 2, a 2, a 1, and a 3. Those are the leading digits for my loan amounts. I according to Benford's law, should expect that the number 1 will show up more often than the number 2. So I can pick out the uh, leading digit uh, in a for loop by iterating over all the entries and converting each amount to a string and then picking off the leading digit by index 0. I'm going to put that into a list called first digit list. And if I look at that, the number of digits in my list is the same as the number of rows in my data frame. So that's a good sign. I've gotten things that I think I care about. Let's take a look at those first five entries. So again, remember the uh, entries were 5,000, 2,500, 2,400, 10,000, and 3,000. And so my first five digits are 5, 2, 2, 1, and 3. So that's a good sign. We got what we wanted. We have the same number of entries as the number of rows. We're rock solid. Good to go. Alright, as you might expect, the number of digits in that list of leading digits is 10. However, if we dig into it and actually ask what are all the unique entries in that list, we see something unexpected. There are no leading zeros. That's sort of like claim number one. So it actually you'd expect not that the first leading digit should be 10, like 0 through 9, but there should only be 9. So now we have something. Now this is clearly a good indicator that it's real data because it's wrong. Right? We thought we were good. We inspected it uh, naively, 10 digits, 10 numbers, but okay, actually, no, that's wrong. So we find that when we do uh, what are all the unique entries in our list, we find that there's an n. This n is a problem. It's not a number. It's not a leading digit. It means that something went wrong in our data set. So even though that we thought our loan amounts were numbers, somewhere in there, we have a string. So in another uh, notebook, I actually explain uh, how to find out what this issue was. But for our purposes, uh, it turns out there are a few of these n entries, and so we'll just get rid of them. And so after we remove all of the instances of n from our list, we find that there's now just 42,535 42, digits remaining. So that means that there were three n's in our list. So not too many. We didn't screw up too much. All right, so let's take a look at this histogram now that we have a list of all the leading digits. So I'm going to use the hist function. I'm going to look at the first digit list. That's all the numbers that we've picked out. And I'm going to use as many bins as there are digits. So our sort of naive histogram of this shows something that's not too useful. It's hard to pick out what's going on here. These leading digits are out of or order. You have to remember that these are uh, being treated as strings. So even though they look like numbers, they're actually strings. So what we're going to do is we're going to sort that list in place. And the output of that now, when we do a histogram, is a sorted list. So this is a much more useful diagram to look at. So here, now we can see that in our list of 42,000 entries uh, with the leading digit, about 16,000 of them had a leading digit of 1. And then only say 7,500 entries had a leading digit of 2. 
So we see more digits with a leading digit of 1, and fewer of them being with 2, and still fewer being 3. So our large enough data set with 42,000 rows adhered to Benford's law for the first four digits, uh, one, through, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now I didn't quite, uh, there's some noise down here because our data set wasn't big enough, but for our purposes we can claim that this is probably a realistic data set um, based on the fact that the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 uh, appear in decreasing frequency.